What's up guys, it is Bucky, and welcome to my 12th Python tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about some more functions that you can do with list. Now the first function I want to talk about is the length function, and what this is, is pretty much it gets the length of anything or all the elements in your list or sequence. So let me uh, make a list real quick and I'll put this to use. Uh, let's have, um, let me think. Let's say we have a list called numbers, and let's just type a couple of numbers. Um, 8, 1, 4, 17, let me think randomly, 28, 165, and lastly, 7. Booyah. Now, actually, I want to name this numbers, plural. And now we have a list or a sequence called numbers. Now, as I said, we can get the length of all the elements in this list by typing a function called length or len and this is short for length so n u m b e r s what you have to do is type the function and then type whatever you want to get the length of and press enter and as you can see it says seven and what this means is there are seven elements in here one two three four five six seven so this is a function, a very simple one that you can use to get the length or number of elements in your list or sequence. Another thing that you can do is get, instead of len, you can type max right there, and that'll give you the maximum number in your list. So tag max numbers, and then it says 165 is the biggest number in your list. And of course, since they made a max function, they also made a min function. Numbers, the minimum number right there is 1, and that's right here, R1. So again, length returns the number of elements, max returns the biggest value, minimum returns the smallest value. And another thing I want to talk to you guys about, another um, function, is called a list function. And what a list function does is take any string of text, such as Bucky, and it converts it to a list and this is because there's a lot of different things that you can do to list that you can't just do to a string function or excuse me to a string so this once you convert it to a list it allows you to perform all list functions on it and some of those list functions I'm gonna to talk to you guys about right now some things that you could do to a list but you couldn't do to a string of text and this involves um, using index notation to add a new value to the list. So remember we have this list of numbers that was 8, 1, 4, 17, 28, 165, and 7. What we can do if we want to change um, an element in that list is we can simply type numbers again, make it equals, and type 8, 1. We can do all that and give it a whole new um, kind of order or elements. Or we can do something a little easier. And by a little easier, I mean a lot easier. So kind of confused you there. But what we can do is this. Any element we want to change, just reference the element right there. And remember, 3, remember it starts with 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So we're saying, all right, that third element, which is actually the fourth, 17, we want to change you to 77. So now put number 3 which is actually the fourth number in your list equals 77 then press enter and we're getting an error and I know why because I put number instead of numbers oh, this is so embarrassing numbers had to think about that for a second 3 equals 77 guarantee it works bam what I tell you now instead when you actually type the right name what you do is when we output this on our screen it now has changed that value of 17 to 77 so that is how you use to reference it in index notation and then just assign it a new value and it allows you to type just one specific value instead of having to retype your whole entire list so that's how you do that and since you can change um, values in your list you can also delete elements in your list and this is even easier say that number we just changed 77 what if we are looking at our list and be like yeah we don't want that anymore 
what we can do is put del and this is another built-in function to delete elements of your list so del deletes an element or takes it away from the list so let's go ahead and type numbers I'm gonna type numbers at this time and not number and we wanna delete the third element from the list so go ahead and hit enter and it just deleted that element from the list don't believe me numbers there we go look at this our last list was 8147777281657 now our list is 814 where the 77 go bam we deleted it using this little function right here and now instead of selling seven elements our list only has six elements so that's how you can take away elements out of a list. So again, I showed you guys how to use the length function. I showed you guys how to use max and min to get the biggest and smallest values. I showed you guys how to change a string of text to the list and how to perform some simple changing elements in the list and also deleting elements from list. So uh, learn that. Um, it's going to come in useful later on, if not right now. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Check out all my other tutorials and contests. And I will see you next time.